Double Dragon. It's your boy. Amen. It's your boy. Like it. We back with some new heat for y'all today. Like the shit up. New video. Roku. Got a new top five for y'all this time. Requested, highly requested. Highly requested. We got the Uncrowned Kings. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all all for y'all uh, comments and perspectives on our top ten player list. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of different uh, reviews, a lot of different uh a lot of debates. A lot debates of comments and stuff like that. And that's what we want. We want to talk about that stuff, man. I saw a lot of people didn't like Midorima's defense level. And I feel like he Midorima, he did clamp Kagami in the beginning. But that yeah. was just like because Kagami didn't have like his skills yet. He didn't know what his ability was. Like he ain't clamp nobody up. He wasn't known for defense. Right. He was known for just his offense, superb offense. But, I kinda I kinda I kinda I kinda think his defense was like a little above default. It wasn't yeah. flashy. Yeah, it wasn't that's flashy. the problem. It wasn't yeah. flashy. It didn't have no yeah. names to it. So it's arguable that he can be moved to a three. It's three what? Three defense. Oh, what am I about to say? <laughs> <laughs> but what? Three out of five? Yeah, I, I give him three out of five. Yeah, yeah. Four out of five is stretching it. A lot of people didn't like Kuroko at the number two spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying we know he can't beat nobody one on one, but as far as like his impact on the game, yeah, you know what I'm saying a lot of people forget about him so. Hey, you made our list. But now let's move on to the Uncrowned Kings. You know what I'm saying? Tepe. Kiyoshi Tepe. I kind of I kind of can't wait to see what, what like y'all list look like. I feel like this list is going to be a little bit more accurate and everybody going to everybody going to kind of agree more with this list than the you last think so? one. Yeah. Oh, no, I feel there's like... too many Mitarima lovers. <laughs> there's too many of those and I know it won't be as bad I think this list won't be as bad as, as the last list I don't know man I, everybody you can't please everybody I feel like it's always gonna be people that's gonna be like what he number five alright Dream let's get to this top five you know what I'm saying coming in at number five we got the big homie the booyah is his name freaking muscle everything eat everything muscle dribble more than Goku. Probably do. Nah, nobody eat more than that's Goku. Like a, that's, like a, that's like a saying. Like, this dude's freaky, <laughs> bro. But this dude did muscle everything. All his special moves was muscle something. That's why I didn't really feel original. It just, it was like, it was like, it was like bland. That was kind of sus, though. <laughs> when he showed Kiyoshi his, his strength. <laughs> Kiyoshi like, get off my booty. Hey, but he was low-key clamping them, though. He was yeah. clamping him for In the a beginning, bit. he was clamping. You know he was clamping. Saying? But he definitely is number five out of everybody. Um, felt like he's the weakest. Yep. You know number what I'm five. He's, lowest. He's somewhat effective, but he wasn't as effective as other ones compared to the other ones. So we got him at, coming in at number five. Yep. All right. <laughs> coming in at number four. <laughs> Who we got, G? Lightning dribble himself, man. <laughs> Yama. I think it's Haya Yama. Yeah, I'm gonna call him Kotaro. Yeah, I know, I know all y'all probably gonna be like, what? He needs to be higher. You gotta think of what he what his impact was to the game though. Yeah, it's more than just one v one, but his impact on the whole game. First he was lazy. He didn't want to play unless he was playing against somebody good. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Then he had lightning dribble. Which, which was, was his, dope. Which was dope. Which is the only move. He had like five levels of it, I guess, because yeah. he could like use his fingers. The fingers based off of how many fingers he Yeah, used. based off how many fingers he got. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But he was definitely like he was cold. He was he was visually appeasing, but it wasn't it wasn't like a super impact. Yeah. And like that's all he, he came with. It was it was to me based off visuals. It was all visual. You have you have to pretty much take the impact in into account because these next three you actually see what we're talking about. We talking about impact. That's how you can tell how good a player is, you know what I'm saying? That's facts, you know what I'm saying? And you know, Kataro, he kinda remind me of remind me of a watered down Iomine. But can he shoot though? Huh? Can he shoot though? Kataro? Yes. 
I mean, he was scoring at will when he was playing. So like, he real. got he got he got the watered down dribbles, right? He got oh. watered down dribbles. Okay. He got the watered down mentality because he was like, I don't want to play for I don't want right. to play for real. Right. He's got. Nothing got him excited. Right. Do y'all think should we ask him about what's okay? Iomine, right? Right. If you used to rate his 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 shooting ability. But like the awkward shooting and stuff like that. Yeah. What would you grade it? With a plus five. being a, a plus being the top tier. His uniqueness on shooting. Yeah. A A plus. A plus. What would you do? Is dribbling. A. A. Yes. Okay. I would go A minus. Is A minus lower than A? A yeah, minus go like that. A. Yeah. I would go A minus B plus. Let us know what y'all think about that. Could we? Could we try to figure out how close is his dribbling skills to his shooting skills? Iona is known for his unique shots and his dribbling and his ability but to score. But it's more so his will. unique shots and being able to score at will. Yeah. I don't, like his dribbling is definitely above average. But I didn't think it was as high as his shooting. So like I put it B plus A minus. I Which mean one? A? I mean for me. B plus or A minus. I'm gonna go A minus. Because okay. I'm not about to shortchange, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. But he's a watered down Iona to me. That's what I feel like. That's see, like that's why I have a problem with that because like we going off of his his second his second uh, best trait, which is dribbling. But it's still superb. But he could be a watered down version of Akashi too because Ooh. he has dribbling too. Iona is known for crazy shots, being able to score at will. He's known this for dude can't hands. score like that at all. What? I didn't see him. All he could do is get past somebody. He scored. Gee, when he when they gave him his due diligence. Have you seen him do? He scored. Have you, have you seen him do any type of off the wall shot, weird shots? He don't have to do that, but he can. He still scored. Regularly. But like that's who Iomine is. It's your favorite character. That's who Iomine is. I know. Scoring at will is. It could be unique shots. It could be regular. That's shots. a water down Iomine. Somebody that slightly do it. He ain't do it at all. He just got past people. Okay, we just got differences on what watered down is then. But well, coming in at number four, we got Kataro. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? He's hey, cold, hey, but compared to everybody else's impact on the game and stuff, he's coming in at number four. But let him know, we had him at two first. No, 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 we had him at, no, no, we was fighting for second and third place before we did our research. Yeah. Do your research before you come to these comments. That's all yeah. I'm saying. All right, coming in at number three, we got the evil dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Spider-Man. Yeah. Hanamaya. I'm going to just call him the snake. Yeah, he's a he's snake. He's a snake, fam. He's a snake. He was definitely dirtiest character to me over Back, the uh, Hazaki the grass, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was dirty. He was dirty. He was actually, like, trying to destroy people, bro. Yeah. Bro, I hated this dude when they first showed him. Yep. But then, the, but the other dude outshined him. I ain't think about the dude. Yeah, once he choked Alex, Hazaki choked Alex. He did kind of outshine him a little bit. Just but sad memory. Once this dude started playing and actually using his abilities, bro, Clamp. they were they were. It was cold. Clamp. He had the whole spider web thing going. You know what I'm saying? And they couldn't pass nowhere. Or it was getting stolen. I would say that he's probably the most defensive guard. That's not in the generation. That's not in the generation of miracles or the top ten list. He's the most defensive guard. That's crazy. And he had the teardrop shot with the layup from freaking. Yep. Who layups from that far away, bro? Right. But his impact on the game, his ability, they shut down Siren for like a minute, bro. Yep. Yeah. Outside of him injuring people, I would rather have him on the, him on my team than Lightning Dribble. Yeah, sorry, that's fact. It's just, it's just how and it took Kuroko to stop him. Yeah, but the lightning dribble he got clamped by Izuki, who's not Generation of Miracle and, Top 10 list? and mm -hmm. not in the freaking uh, Uncrowned Kings. Yep. He got clamped by him. So yeah, that's why we gonna you know what I'm saying pass that over. Yep. So coming in number three, we got Hanamaya. All right, y'all. Coming in at number two. We got heaven on earth, heaven on earth massage parlor. <laughs> That's funny that that this dude has stuff called that. Like, <laughs> how how was well, just a straight coincidence? We got a uh, clutch shoot. His abilities was cold. Yeah, yeah. Like I ain't even gonna stunt, bro. He kind he kind of reminded me of like Clay Thompson. 
just being able to just shoot, bro. Like from that far, just yeah. anytime, bro. He you could knew about this dude. Mm. He was like, "Hey, that's him." Like, yep. yep, that's me. What's up? But this dude gets a number two spot. He had three different shooting abilities. Mm -hmm. He was Dana unstoppable when he was going in. He had void. Yep. Which makes people like you can't even jump to mm -hmm. freaking block his shot. He called him facts. You got. I think Earth. he was the second second um. He was the second second leading scorer on that team. I think. Yeah, because him and yeah. Yoga was going back and forth for threes. Yeah. He was popping, bro, for yeah. the first half. Then he got Earth, which draws the foul, making yep. you like you know jump. He jumps into you, hits the three, and draws the foul. And then he got Heaven. We should do like this freaking long fadeaway shot. You can't yeah. even jump to block it. Like three different moves, bro. He he he's he's the only person so far. We got three moves. Yeah. Everybody, I'm not counting muscles. That that don't count. That's just naming <laughs> everything muscle. Muscle sit. <laughs> <laughs> muscle eat. Right. Like muscle get out the court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he was able to switch between those abilities too, depending yeah. on how the defender um reacted to his shots. Too. It took it took a while to catch up to to what the heck he was doing, bro. That stuff was cold, bro. It Having was. somebody like that on your team, bro. Oh yeah. Like, I, I definitely love it. Definitely. That's love it. that's crazy. So that's why um. We gave him number two. Because he, he had the biggest impact, the second biggest impact on Rakuzen. Yeah. Some people will say that it's the dark Kuroko, but his his was kind of short. Yeah, it was a short his spurt. His was short. This yeah. dude was scoring points. Yeah, this dude was going Dropping. Good. All they do was, was kept good. going to him because Hugo couldn't stop this dude, bro. That's facts. He made Hugo get out. Didn't, that's, remember that? Yeah. Got out. Dang. Made him sit down, bro. Go think about what you're doing and come back. He did get clamped by Hugo and Facts. and the cat face dude. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But his abilities. Without the cat face, it wouldn't have. It, yeah. The game would have been over. I'm just you know saying, saying, cat face MVP. Yeah. His abilities were still like dynamic and it was cold. So yeah. he That's got the number two spot. You know Y'all already know who got number one. Y'all already know who got number one. It's only one person left. Y'all already know what number one is. The big homie, Kiyoshi Tepe. Kelsey Tepe, man. Goat. He the goat. He's definitely like... And he was injured. And he was injured. But to have a center who can play the point guard, then he got the right of postponement. When he jump in the air, and if somebody about to block it, he just switch pass. Yep. Like, this dude is cold, bro. He kind of reminded me of Marcus Hall a little bit. Marcus Hall? Yeah. Because yeah. he was defensive, he got boards, and, and he was a good passer. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Good pass. The Ironheart, Kiyoshi Tepe, number one spot. You know what I'm saying? His impact just with Siren. Once he came back to Siren, mm -hmm. it took us over the top, bro. Yeah, man. We pretty much had two bigs just in the floor, and they let freaking Kagami just run wild, bro. Because Kagami was playing center first. Right. Because they could actually fought for it. Yeah. My man has durability, even though he was injured. He got durability because yeah. he, stayed, he stayed on the court. He stayed on the court. He defended the team. He took hits. All the hits. You know what I'm saying? He was an offensive threat, defensive threat. He, he was Kyoshi's number one. It's it's no debate. I don't care what y'all say in the comments, man. Kyoshi Tepe. I would love to see somebody try to explain why Kyoshi Tepe should not be number one. <laughs> I, I, I really would love to read this. So go ahead and try. <laughs> well, that's it, man, for the list. Hope y'all enjoyed the list. Let us know how y'all feel about the list in the comments. Yeah. If y'all think something should be different, write it down. You know what I'm saying? And um, we'll see y'all again in the next video. Double Dragon out. Peace. Deuces.